Aerodynamic balance. If a flight control is hinged at its leading edge, the stick forces required are high, especially on fast or heavy aeroplanes. This can be relieved by means of aerodynamic balance. Inset hinge nose balance. The surface in front of the hinge line produces a force acting opposite to the control force, thereby reducing the moment. Control effectiveness is still maintained. Horn balance. This is similar in operation to the inset hinge, but only a portion of the control surface acts ahead of the hinge line. Balance tabs. Mechanically link to the elevator and deflect in a direction which is opposite to the elevator deflection. Spring tab. It's connected directly to the control stick and becomes more effective as speed is increased. A servo tab. The stick is connected directly to the servo tab and deflection of the tab causes the main control to deflect. Internal balance, sealed nose balance. There's a pressure difference on a seal between two sides of a control surface. This creates a force ahead of the hinge line. Balance tab with trimming. The stick is connected directly to the control surface and deflection of the control surface causes the tab to move. Anti-balance tab. A stabilator, on all moving tailplane, has a much larger area than an elevator and gives a more powerful response to a control input. It's therefore necessary to fit a tab which will prevent excessive control surface movement, a device to increase the hinge moment. An anti-balance tab moves in the same direction as the trailing edge of the stabilator and generates a force which makes it heavier to move the stabilator further. 